Hello and welcome back to another video of Introducing Oval University. In this video, we will have a look to Fab Lab, the way I'm standing right now. Let's have a look. Yes, this is uh, the Department of uh, Production and Wood Technology here in this house. We deal with uh, technology on one hand and on the other hand, we deal with uh, the financial on the, uh, aspects and the aspects of uh, organization of uh, such a company. If we talk about uh, technology and we talk about uh, being better and more efficient than perhaps the day before, before or the, even the week before, we have to ask us every day, what can we do better? One of those parts that we could do better is that we perhaps use new technology. For example, technology of robotics. We have some examples here in our laboratory for technical logistics, as, it's, as it is called. This is a typical pick and place robot for, yeah, this one is used in assembly lines, often used in assembly lines. It picks parts from one part, from one place in this field of uh, the robot and puts it into several other machineries uh, and other um, things where it is um, worked with at this moment. Today, this classical world of those robotics is left. And the modern version we have here, they are brand new. Those robots are called the cobots. Those are robots that are so secure that I, as a worker, can work with them. So I do not only have still only two hands, this one offers the third hand that I often need to be more efficient and effect much faster and much more cost efficient. This is the department of plastics and manufacturing products out of plastic. Plastic you often find as a raw material in the form of this granulate. This is all the plastic that is heated up it's from uh, oil, right? It's from oil, yes, that's true. It's from oil. Mm -hmm. And we heat it up in this machine. We fill it in here in this funnel. Mm -hmm. Here we fill it up. And then here we have a big heating system. Oh, that's the heater. This is the heater. And here we have the tool. And the tool, it's now closed. But if you would open this tool, you would see that it has two halves. And inside, there's a mold. And this mold has the form of, for example, this product. Mm -hmm. And what we would like to try to show our students is what about the quality of this products that we produce? Mm -hmm. For example, what is about with the surface? For example, if I wrap here, I can feel, you cannot see that on the camera, but you can wrap, yeah. it, the surface is a little bit rough mm -hmm. here. This has to do with the temperature of the material while we inject it into the tool. And for example, here we have a little, uh, so a little mold inside. If you put your finger here, you can see this little gap. Here, yeah. Yes, here it is. This means that uh, it's not ideal, this, 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 this product, this, this, this mold, this gap should not be there. Mm -hmm. But with special um, treatment, you can avoid this gap. But then, manufacturing of this product here would not be about 25 seconds, it would be 30 seconds more. Oh. And five, five seconds more to, okay. to 30 seconds. Okay. Five seconds is a lot of time a and a lot production. of in a lot of money. Oh, yes. if, if, if we talk about this machine working 24-7. So every supplier will always come and bring you the 25 second product. And you have to close your eyes and have to feel, uh-uh, this is not the right one. You should bring me the 
the 30-second product, which is much better, but I'm only willing to pay the price for the 25-second product. So this is always the, the point that we, that we have. Which possibility offers technology and what is the price that we have to pay? And this, so this is what we have in our department quite, quite enormously. Techni technology and the pricing, efficiency, economic part. Mm -hmm. This is what, what, what we are aiming at, what we are looking for. Pricing, quality, and technology. Pricing, quality, technology. This is the department of um, metal processing. We have uh, several machines here, classical machines, that are used to, to work with metal. We have um, milling machines, we have drilling machines, we have uh, lathes uh, here, and as perhaps, let's say, a special machine and a special method to work with, we have a water cutting machine. I can show, show you this machine here. This machine is able to cut materials, even metal, even thick metal, just with water. We have a high pressure water beam, and with this water beam, you can cut out several contours and figures that you would like to produce just from your CAD, computer edit model that you have. How Even thick metal can be? Ah, let's, let, perhaps you can see here, this is about 20 millimeters yes. and there's no problem to cut through ah. with this uh, machine. So no it's problem so to, to cut. Quite powerful. This works uh, not only with metal as we, we have it here. This is, let's say about eight millimeters. Um, you only also can, for example, use stone, stone. ceramic, oh, ceramic, ceramic. Yes, it's hard material. Material, so quite hard, yeah. but it is able to cut through just with water. Ah, uh, to be honest, it is not only water that is inside. There is a little bit of sand yes, in I it, can see and that. the sand is very rough. The water is just transporting the sand and is accelerating the sand. So the material that is, that is cutting is not the water, it's the sand. but the sand that is in the water. The water is only for speeding up the sand mm -hmm. to make it cut then. Interesting, I didn't know that. Yeah, so you're welcome. Here we are in the department of wood technology. Wood technology is um, a course that uh, is about producing, for example, furnitures very fast and very efficiently. Here in this region, we have a lot of manufacturers for kitchen furnitures. If you buy a kitchen in Germany, it mostly would be manufactured here in this region. So for our mm, Companies surrounding us, we need engineers that are able to cut costs and work with the technology in the field of wood. The history of this furniture industry, even of the kitchen industry here in Germany, is about industrialization in the years of 1800-1850 in the Ruhr area about 200 kilometers more west of us here. Mm -hmm. Those days there were coal mines and very big companies that produced steel and the working conditions for all those workers were quite poor and life was very hard. But they had one big hobby and a very big uh, pleasure in the evening. They smoked their cigar after they had done their work. Yes. So tabac, tobacco is not produced in Germany, it does not grow here because of our wonderful climate. We have to import tobacco. And because of this imported tobacco that came from the coasts, this tobacco had to be transported those days in a two days trip down to the customers in the Ruhr area. Mm -hmm. So they decided after one day transportation to produce the cigars here in this region. And 
those days, 100, 150 years ago, those days, the ready manufactured cigar was put in a wooden little box because the wood controls the moisture of the tobacco. Mm. Tobacco of cigars has to be kept in a certain range and the wood surrounding those cigars guarantees that the moisture of the tobacco of the cigar and so the quality of the cigar is absolutely perfect. So beside all those manufacturers producing those little cigars, you needed a lot of little suppliers for those boxes. As packaging was better and better and better and was replaced by paper, by plastics, all those little box builders they expanded their boxes up to a width of 60 centimeters and a height of 80 centimeters and so the kitchen cupboard was ready. Oh. So this is the reason and the origin why we have in this region here so many kitchen manufacturers and suppliers for kitchen industry that such a course of wood technology makes sense in this region and all those engineers are needed for keeping up the production line in today's kitchen industry. Very interesting. Oh, let me show the machine. This is for cutting the wood. This is for cutting, for example. This computer numeric controls. Yes. This is an original simple saw. Oh, it's a saw, okay. It's a saw, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can see here, it's a saw. The saw blade is rotating and then you can bring all those materials if you want yeah, to the cut. the shields here to cut the shields. Then, then the shields. Yeah. Very nice. And it's interesting because Germany is a industrial country because these machines are also made in Germany mostly. Yes. These machines yes, are yes. made mainly Wait, those are produced about uh, 50 kilometers um, north from here. Oh, it's crazy, you see? <laughs> All in this region. Mm -hmm. ah, it, it, that's, that's, that's the point. If you have such an industry of kitchen, that, that produces kitchen in the region, you also have all those companies that build the machines to produce those kitchens here in this region. So one branch is depending on the other one. Exactly. That is the it's the problem of the so many countries. For example, in my own country, Iran, you mm -hmm. have like this industry for wood. Yeah. But problem is we have to import these machines from yeah. Germany, from yeah. France, yeah. because we don't have that industry. Yeah. Yeah. We rely on other countries. Yeah. But in Germany, you have like, you have so many uh, different industries. That's true. You don't rely on other countries. Yeah. That's and the it's most important depending on part each other. of the uh, mm -hmm. in Germany is this part. This is um, the, the so-called maker's space. Um, here we have uh, several methods of producing very fast new products. One of those uh, methods is a typical 3D printing, as we have it, for example, here on this machine. If students need um, prototypes, if they need um, parts for their projects and what they are building, what they are constructing, what they are just doing, they are welcome to come here and produce their own um, prototypes, their own products with all those machines. We have lathes here, we have um, drilling machines here, we have those 3D printers in uh, several types with uh, several possibilities. So everyone is free to come here and produce for his or her project uh, the necessary parts and things.